In this video, we want to prove that if you fix a continuous function on a closed interval and fix a polynomial degree, then there exists a polynomial that realizes uh, the minimum possible error in the uniform norm. Such polynomials are called minimax polynomials. So we have a statement of the theorem here. Uh, recall that this infinity norm is defined by basically taking the maximum of the function uh, over the interval. So we want to reformulate the problem as a minimization problem of a continuous function over a closed and bounded uh, finite dimensional set, which then will uh, imply the theorem by the Weierstrass existence theorem. We, have, we are in a polynomial space of degree n, which means that the dimension of the space is n plus 1. Uh, let's look at, at the coefficients of that polynomial in, as, a, as a point in n plus 1 dimensional space. Given these coefficients, we have this polynomial q and define this function e depending on the coefficients a as the error between f and that given polynomial q. So let's look at the continuity of this function first. Perturb the coefficients little by delta a and look at the difference. Then by definition we have that and by triangle inequality this difference is bounded by the infinity norm of the polynomial with coefficients given by these perturbations delta a. And because this x is between 0 and 1, the uniform norm of this polynom polynomial delta q is bounded by just the sum of the, uh, of the absolute values of the coefficients. And we can introduce this uh, one norm uh, on the space Rn plus 1. Then it, this difference, if you perturb E a little bit, this difference is going to be bounded by the norm of the perturbation delta A. So it's a continuity of E. Now we define this set K. K is the points in Rn plus 1. So this is actually not x, this would be a. Uh, we collect all points a for which e of a is smaller than the uniform norm f of f plus 1. Now we claim that this set k is closed, bounded, and non-empty. It's closed because this is the inverse image of the inverse image of this in closed interval 0 to uh, the uniform norm of f plus 1 under the mapping e and e is continuous, so k is closed. Now k is bounded because the infinity norm of, of an arbitrary polynomial q is bounded by the infinity norm of f minus q plus f by the triangle inequality, and the coefficients, say one norm of a point in Rn plus 1 as coefficients of a q, uh, that norm is bounded by some constant times the norm of q, infinity norm of that polynomial q. So that means that's e of a. So if a goes to infinity, then the norm of q will go to infinity. When norm of q goes to infinity, e of a will go to infinity, because this is fixed. That means k is bounded. If k was not bounded, you can't have this, this bound. Finally, k is non-empty because 0 is in k. e of 0 would be is just the norm of f and norm of f is smaller than uh, norm of f plus 1. So 0 is in k. So k is closed bounded at non and non-empty. So by Weierstrass theorem there exists a point a star in k such that e evaluated at a star is equal to the infimum of e over k. So basically that means this infimum, infimum is actually a minimum. Okay, so there's just one step left. Here we uh, only proved now that e has a minimizer over the set k, but we want to have the minimizer over the whole space rn plus 1. But this should be rn plus 1. So the question is now, is it minimizer over the whole space? Okay, uh, that can be proved easily. So let's say this is our set k and we have a minimizer a star inside this k. 
inside this set k now let's take some arbitrary point a outside and we want to prove that e evaluated at a at a star is smaller than e evaluated at arbitrary point a outside the set k okay so e evaluated at a star is smaller than e evaluated at zero because zero is inside the set k and a star is a minimizer then e zero is equal to f uh, the norm of f immediately then of course norm of f is smaller than norm of f plus one but by the definition of set k since a is outside the set k e of a is bigger than the norm of f plus one so we have E evaluated at a star is smaller than E evaluated at a if a is outside the set k. And we also know it is true even if a is when e is inside the set k. So that proves that a star is a global minimizer.